Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, Big Dreams. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. There have been a number of claims and theories floating around concerning Samsung's future Dream Exynos chip for the Galaxy S25. It is anticipated that it will be released in the year 2025, and it is predicted that it will provide much improved performance compared to Exynos processors from the company's earlier generations. Recently, a piece of information concerning this chip that was previously unknown to the public has come to light and according to information provided by Tipster at Tech underscore Rev, Samsung and AMD are collaborating on the development of a new GPU for the the Exynos 2500. It will focus on enhancing optimization and will be based on AMD's Radeon technology as part of their expanded cooperation. This will be the case and even while it wasn't specifically stated in the tweet, it seems to imply that the two businesses will concentrate more on optimization than on sheer performance. It is unknown how well it would perform in comparison to competing GPUs found in Apple's and Qualcomm's chips, and the outcome won't be known until the products are commercially available to consumers in approximately two years. In comparison to their Snapdragon equivalents, earlier generations of Exynos chipsets exhibited both a lower level of performance and a lower level of battery efficiency. The situation was made further worse by the fact that Samsung installed these inferior Exynos CPUs in its flagship phones in certain places, while customers in other areas receive superior Snapdragon chips in their phones. Because of this, the firm was subjected to a great deal of criticism, and as a result, it made the decision to utilize only Snapdragon chipsets in the Galaxy S23 and the S24. There were reports going around that the smartphone subsidiary of Samsung, known as Samsung MX, assembled a team of over 1,000 engineers to develop a bespoke high-end chipset for future Galaxy devices. On the other hand, the business later announced that it intends to collaborate with the Exynos team in a closer fashion in order to develop a processor that is more designed for Galaxy handsets. In addition to that, midway through March, Samsung made the Galaxy A54 official, and ever since then, it has been gradually made accessible in more and more markets throughout the world. The most recent edition of Samsung's smartphone lineup, which has consistently been the company's bestseller, is now almost ready to make the transition to Verizon in the United States. Awesome Graphite will be the only color option for the carrier's offering of the Galaxy A54 when it goes on sale on April 6th and if you add a new line to certain 5G unlimited plans within a limited time period, you will be able to purchase one through Verizon device payment for a low price of $10 per month for the next three years. This brings the total to $360, which is a significant discount compared to the full retail price of $499.99 that you would have been required to pay in any other circumstance and in addition, Verizon is discounting cases and screen protectors for the A54 by 20%. The Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband connectivity can be used without any issues on the Galaxy A54 thanks to the device's full compatibility. And if you are not yet a Verizon client, you can join up for the Verizon free trial in order to receive free unlimited premium 5G data for a period of 30 days. With that information said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.